Hi, Karen here, and today we're going to talk about an essential analysis method for your strategic marketing, the pestle analysis. Whether you're a marketing student, an entrepreneur, or you're just interested about the subject, this video is for you. First of all, what is a pestle analysis? The pestle analysis is an analytical tool that evaluates external factors that can influence a company or organization. By conducting this analysis, you can determine if there are any potential roadblocks to introducing a new business or a project. Pestle can quickly help you identify if the market is favorable for the type of product or business you want to create. PESTOL stands for six categories of factors. Political, economical, sociocultural, technological, environmental, and legal. Each of these categories encompasses different aspects of the environment that can impact your business activities. To start your PESTOL analysis, you will create a table with each category. Beforehand, you need to know the market you'd like to enter. So let's begin with the politician factors. Political factors include government policies, regulations, laws, and political decisions that can affect your business. You should consider tax laws, trade policies, industry-specific regulations, and even more. Analyze how these factors could influence your operations and strategic decisions. Simply jot down in the table anything that might affect you in the political area. For instance, you might note high taxes. The corporate rate is 10% higher in France than in Poland. This is something to think about before deciphering which country you will create your business in. Your second rule is for economic factors. These factors are related to the overall economic situation. You will need to study aspects like economic growth, inflation, unemployment, consumer purchasing power, interest rates, etc. Understanding these factors will help you anticipate economic trends and adjust your strategy accordingly. Something as straightforward as inflation and monetary stability are macro factors you need to think about, especially for an internationally operating company. For instance, not a long time ago, the price of gasoline and gas doubled in France. Would your business be affected if it happened? Moving on the social or social Social cultural aspects. Social cultural factors are linked to consumer values, but also attitudes, lifestyles, and many others. Analyze demographic trends, consumer preferences, societal shifts, etc. These elements can help you better understand your target market and tailor your offering accordingly. I recommend pinpointing the specific population that concerns you. Are there a lot of birth? How is the overall health of the population? Is there a divide between rural and urban areas? You need to ask yourself all these questions. For example, in 2022, European consumption trends aligned with new values such as transparency, ethics, and environmental consciousness. These trends can definitely affect your business. Regarding technological factors, consider the available tools in the markets you're looking for and the impact of innovation. You must indeed consider the accessible resources. For instance, the United States has more resources and new technologies than a lot of countries. IT schools are also better equipped. This could be a consideration. On the other hand, keep an eye on emerging technologies because they could create new opportunities or threaten your business. As a reminder, not a long time ago, there was the development of the 5G and even internet accessibility that continues to grow up. Laws favoring sustainability and environmental protections do impact company activities. That's why environmental factors should not be neglected. They involve aspects related to um, sustainable development, environmental protection, environmental regulations, etc. So analyze how your company can adapt to these challenges and incorporate sustainable practices. Also, consider the impact of these factors on customer perceptions. Moreover, in France, since January 1st, 2022, a new law on ecology and circular economy came into effect. It prohibits the disposal of non-food unsold items. This presents an opportunity of a new activity to open a store to retrieve non-food unsold items from other stores and sell them at a competitively lower price. This is what we call a strategic factor. Lastly, there is the legal analysis. Legal factors include laws, regulations, and legal requirements your company must adhere to. This includes laws that protect your employees, such as limitations on overtime or ensuring safety. But 
also laws related to commerce and marketing of certain products. And remember to also examine the laws about consumer protection, intellectual property, competition, etc. Once your table is filled out, if you wish, you can take your analysis further. But you know what? It's up to you to decide if you want to go further. I let you an article in the description that gives you access to all these analyses if you want to do more than the pastel analysis. And congratulations, you know how to conduct a pastel analysis. By keeping these six categories of factors in mind, you will be able to identify opportunities and threats in your business environment. Remember to update your pastel analysis regularly to stay relevant. If you like the video, consider subscribing, it's always a pleasure. And of course, if you have any questions, I'm waiting for you in the comment section below. See you soon for more videos.